Bella. Welcome to Bella Uncinetto. My name is Christina and today I want to share an amazing find. Before I do that though, I want to welcome everyone to the channel. If you're new here, thank you for coming. Uh, and if you've been around for a while, just a few episodes, right? I haven't even hit 20 yet, but if you've been around from the beginning, I definitely appreciate you sticking around and I hope we have many more adventures together. Now, I need to stop buying yarn. That's something I need to do. However, needle travel is no help because I just get on there and I look around and I'm like, oh, there's a yarn shop and it's this many minutes for me or it's, oh, it's a little over an hour. It's no big deal. So I am here with another yarn haul uh, and a small business support because it is an LYS. This place is in Moorhead City, North Carolina, and it is called The Knit Nook. And Lisa is the owner, and both of the ladies that were in there were very, very wonderful and helpful and loved talking about yarn because if you're in a yarn shop do you love talking about yarn so sadly if you've watched some of my uh, more recent videos i did order a memory card for my camera or for my phone so that i can have more uh, memory for video storage and picture storage uh, but i could not do any recording while i was there not because they wouldn't allow me. I didn't even ask because my phone's been messing up. I did take some pictures, which will, I will insert here. And there were some really cool yarns. Uh, there were some recycled yarns that I really, really wanted to get. But they were so lightweight, I just couldn't... I couldn't spend the money on, on them knowing I was going to have to buy double the amount because I would have to hold it double in order to be able to work with it. And while that, that's not necessarily a problem price wise, just means I would have less money to buy more different kinds of yarn, which is kind of what my goal was. So, uh, I did pretty well while I was there. I did get some really nice yarns. I got some local hand dyed yarns, which I'll, um, share with you momentarily. Before I do that though, I want to share some of the amazing deals that I got. So they had all the way at the end of the store, they had a, like a sale section. It wasn't very big, but they have the cubes. Uh, and so they have all the yarn, you know, separated, uh, by, uh, weight and type and things like that, that were in the sale. And I, I did not ask, but I'm assuming that they're getting rid of the Barocco yarn. They're not going to be selling it anymore. I didn't see it anywhere but at the sales section. So that is my assumption. However, I got to score some really great deals because of that. So I got this Barocco Ultra Wool DK, which is 100% superwash super wool. Uh... It says you can place in a mesh bag, machine wash in cold water, delicate cycle low, or delicate cycle tumble dry low made in Peru. Uh, this does not have a color name, but it is 8361, uh, 100 grams, 292 yards, or 267 meters. Crochet, uh, 7 US or 4.5 millimeter. Knitting needle is a four millimeter or six US. It is a lightweight three. So there are the specs on it. If you can see it, I'm sorry. It may be backwards. Uh, but I got four of these. And I also got four in this beautiful brown color. So I'm going to pair these together and make uh, really nice scarf and hat set, maybe a cowl and hat set. I haven't decided yet, but, uh, these will pair really, really well together. So uh, I got those in the sale, uh, bins. And then I also got the Barocco ultra wool, ultra wool chunky, 
And I got three of these. Uh, and this is color 4329. Uh, same uh, specs as far as washing, but this one is 145 yards or 133 meters, a 6.5 millimeter hook or K in the U.S., 6.5 millimeter knitting needle or 10.5 in the U.S. I might even go up on this just because, I mean, it's not like crazy chunky, but I might, I might even go up. To like an eight but that's just me uh, and it does say it's a five bulky so I got three of those oh, I didn't tell you the color on this this brown one it is eight three one one five eight three one one five so I got those and then I also got seven because I want to make a blanket so I definitely got blanket quantity of this Siddhar Snuggly Rascal DK yarn. And this is in the shade 0460. It's 50 grams, 165 meters or 179 yards, 55% nylon, 45% acrylic. Uh, wash. A warm, cool, tumble, or dry flat. Reshape while wet. Uh, dry press, never wet press. Maybe dry cleaned. So, Siddhar is a company that's in England. Uh, and it is made in Turkey. Uh, UK 8 or 4 millimeter knitting needles. A US 6. 4 millimeter or 8 UK hook. A US F or five. And I am in love with this. It's so playful. Um, I could have sworn there was a name on here for the color. I could have been wrong. But this reminds me of like, um, I want to say sweet tarts, but that's not it. Bottle caps. Bottle caps. If you've ever tried bottle caps, um, they look like the, if you used to get glass bottles of soda and they had the metal um, pop tops, uh, there's a candy that's called bottle, bottle caps. And these remind me of those colors of that candy. So if, if you've never had that, you may not understand. But if you look it up, you may uh, understand some of the colors. Because uh, they were they were very muted colors. Uh and some of them tasted just like the soda. Some of them didn't. Ugh. But anyway, enough chatter about that. I got seven of those. Then I got some Simply Worsted by Haiku. And I got three different colors, but they're all the same specs. So I'm going to show you the colors. And then I'm going to tell you about each of them. So here are the colors, and I'm going to put these together in a scarf pattern. Once I figure out what that scarf pattern is. So this darker blue one is iris blue. The uh, light blue one is blue bell. And then this grayish blue, almost like a steely blue, is called silver hair. And it is showing up gray on the screen. Let me see if I take the blue away, if that changes it, changes it a little bit. Oh, well, it does have a, a blue quality to it. Uh, but I would call it like a steel blue, like a grayish blue color. So the specs on this, uh, 55% Merino superwash, 28% acrylic, 17% nylon, uh, Six millimeter or US size 10 knitting needle. It does not give a crochet hook on it. It says that you can wash and you can dry. It's 128 meters or 140 yards. Um, and so here are the labels. So this is washing 
and this is drying. So if there's not a slash or an X on there, right, that means that you can wash and dry. Um, there's something on the inside. Oh, knitting tips and tricks. Yeah, nothing, nothing that would be useful to me. Uh, since this is a four weight, I'll probably use, um, if I can get it to focus, there we go. I'll probably use a 5.5 .5 or six millimeter hook on these. Uh, but they do feel very lovely. Very, very lovely. So I'm very happy with these. All right. And I'm going to put them back in my wonderful knit nook tote that I was given for my purchase and I'll share a little bit more about that in a moment but it is very very awesome and the next purchase uh, were some hand dyed <clears throat> wools that I got and these are all bulky <clears throat> excuse me I'm so so sorry but uh they are from Newburn, North Carolina, and it is called Sheep Dipped Dye Works. I almost said something else. Every time I say this, I almost say something else, but it's Sheep Dipped Dye Works. It says hand dyed aliases for sheep, which I think is funny. Um, this is in the color sea glass. And you can see the, the blue speckles. And then there are some green and yellow, which are a little bit harder for the camera to pick up, but I can definitely see them. And then as you go through the hank, there are more blue tones throughout. Um, and it says it's a staple bulky, 106 yards. It's 100% superwash merino. And that's all the information it gives me. But I did get two. Uh, and this is in the color uh, Electric Ocean. So I'm going to put these together. I thought that would be super pretty. Because this blue is not the same as this. So even if it shows up near this, <clears throat> it'll be different enough that it won't look like it's pooling. So this. And then I got another... Uh, I want to say this is going to be a six bulky just because it is thicker than this, but it may also be more of like a roving style because you can see it changes size. Anyway, this is by the same sheep dipped dye works, but this is in land, sea and sunset. And I got two of these because they are hand dyed. So even though the colors are similar, Right, they don't work up in exactly the same way because of where it takes the dye. But uh, I'm gonna make some hats with these. I'm not gonna put them together because I will get pooling even if I'm not trying to, but I'm gonna make some hats out of these. I thought that would be awesome. Let me know what you think. And last but certainly not least, I'm gonna put these to the side here. Uh, Crystal from Bag o Day uh, purchased, and I don't remember where she purchased them from, but she purchased some Earth Yarns, U-R-T-H, and I thought they were just beautiful, and I think that the message is really lovely, uh, because if you buy Earth Yarn, right, it says knit one, plant one, Earth Yarns plants a tree in Africa for each skein sold in partnership with trees for the future. Or trees future something like that uh, when people learn how to give back to the land the land gives back to them you know that I am all about some sustainability and I know that I my purchase of this did not plant a tree but because they the shop purchased it right and then I bought it from them I know that that helps in some way uh, this is harvest worsted extra fine merino dyed by hand using natural dyes and it's made in turkey so that is the type and then the color is thyme like the the herb uh, and it is 220 yards or 200 meters 100 grams 
uh, for knitting needles, US 6 to 8 or 4 to 5 millimeter does not give crochet hooks. Machine wash cold, do not iron, lay flat to dry. Those are the washing instructions there. And the reason why I say um, machine wash cold is because this is 30 degrees here, which is in Celsius, and 30 degrees Celsius is, is cold. So for those of us right who use Fahrenheit still, uh, sometimes it can be a little hard. I mean, 30 degrees would be cold to us too, but it's even colder if you convert, convert it over. So I got time and then I got this beautiful, it's the same one, but this is indigo. Okay, and so this is worsted. And then I got unique. Look at that. Oh my beautifulness. So I am going to take this and put it with this and put it with this. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. This will be uh, a hat and scarf set, or I might make a really, really long infinity scarf with this. I don't know yet, but that's kind of where I'm going. So look at all these colors together. I'm trying to get them all in the camera. Oh, look at that. They're so beautiful. Look at that. Sorry, I can't sing. But they're so pretty. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'll stop. Oh, now it's not focusing on my face. Let's see. Oh, there we go. All right. So... Uh, I want to show the card one more time. This is the Knit Nook in Moorhead City. And on the other side of this card, and I'm not going to flip it over and show you because then you would know roughly how much money I spent. And that's none of your business. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but on the other side of the card is a loyalty card. So for every $10 you spend, you get a box filled in. And once you get all of the boxes filled in on the card, the card becomes a $25 gift card on your next purchase. So you can't use it when you fill up the card. You have to use it on the next purchase. Which of the three LYSs that I've been to recently, it's the only one that has like a loyalty program. Now they all do something different. <clears throat> and I've talked about those things in the other videos. Uh, <clears throat> but this one has... Um, a different way of bringing you back right, to the I'm store. I'm going to make it quick. I ran out of memory again. That card cannot get here soon enough. They did say that they do a lot of things in their newsletter. So if you're local and you want to get information, you can get it in their newsletter if you sign up or you can go to Facebook where they post their newsletter. And also you can order online here. So if you place an order online, if you're close, you can go pick it up. Uh, if not, then... So I'll send it to you. So that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for your patience and your kindness. And I'm so glad that you're on this journey with me. I hope you're having a great day or night, whatever time it is for you. And I look forward to seeing you again. As always, be the change you wish to see in the world. And have a wonderful day. Ciao, Bella. Thank you.